Citadel has a big problem on their hands as well as that we are going to talk about AMC could very well produce a profit in the next quarter. I want to go over what people are saying about both of these situations. So drop that like on the video, consider subscribing to the channel, all that good stuff. This video is not going to be very long. We're going to get straight into it. Check out the links in the description for free stocks as well as the link for the buy and sell alerts if you guys want to be notified every time a trade is bought or sold. And just a quick recap of what is happening right now. We're up about 1.5%. I think we're going to get a post earnings rally and this typically happens on the day of earnings you see a pretty substantial red day and then two to four weeks after earnings is really where you see the top out at right back here in march may and in uh, august the last earnings call we have always had a positive return after earnings the like i said two to four weeks after earnings the day of earnings is always a red, red day so that's just a quick little recap. Let's get into this whole Citadel situation. And then let's talk about AMC's profitability potential for next quarter. So this is a big problem for Citadel because if you guys are unaware of this, I didn't, even in the last video, I kind of messed up talking about this, but Canada, the UK and Australia all have banned payment for order flow but the european union has not in entirely and the uk apparently i didn't know this is not part of the european union since 2020 i believe so this is a big deal right here the rest of the european countries all of their stock markets not using payment for order flow is going to be a big hit for you know people that buy payment for order flow like citadel and virtue which are the two biggest by far so it says European Commission set to ban trade practice propelling meme stocks. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission is separately weighing a ban on payment for order flow in which trading firms pay retail brokerages to execute their trades. And by the, the EU doing this, this will put more pressure on possibly the SEC acting on this to do something. Even if it's not banning payment for order flow right away, putting some kind of regulation on this, maybe reducing the amount of payment for order flow that can actually be purchased and then executed most of the time in the dark pools that's the big problem right but let's see what they have to say the european commission is is planning to ban payment forward flow propelling potential u.s moves to stem a practice that hit the headlines during the meme stock mania the a fourth forthcoming review of the markets and financial instruments derivatives will include a ban amid other measures to increase transparency such as a consolidation tape of information about transactions people familiar with the matter said the u.s securities and exchange commission is separately weighing a ban on payment for order flow in which trading firms pay retail brokerages to execute their trades regulators are concerned that video game like prompts have encouraged excessive trading on app-based brokerages that fueled an excessive surge in value for gamestop and other stocks this year while the day trading frenzy is far more muted in Europe than the US, the practice of zero commission trading is starting to cross the Atlantic. That prompted the Blocks Markets watchdog to, to warn firms and investors in July of the risks arising from payment for order flow. A spokesperson for the European Commission declined to comment. Merid McGuinness, the EU's financial services commissioner, said the month regulators were closely monitoring payment for order flow. It was difficult to assess how problematic the practice is because there is no consolidated view of all equity and all liquidity and prices of financial instruments traded across execution venues in the European markets. I think a lot of this has to do with dark pools. It's hard to say what is fraudulent, what is not fraudulent, because the, just in the saying of dark pools, you don't know what is exactly going on. Now, we have proven this time and time and again, this is very fraudulent behavior. Not all payment for order flow is obviously going to be fraudulent, just like everything else, but a majority of this or a good portion of this specifically in retail stocks like AMC, GameStop, where the dark pool numbers are over 60% of the total volume is going to dark pools. There is obviously a huge conflict of interest and they can do whatever they want to keep the pricing down because ultimately the dark pool activity does not get properly re reflected on the open market. So there can be big price discrepancies as well, as well as that just not getting the best executions or even holding on to our orders and letting out certain orders whenever it's beneficial for Citadel or Virtue or whoever else has a mutual interest in doing so, keeping a stock up 
or keeping a stock down. So that is the situation. I think it's just good overall, like I said, because the more countries that do this, the US will want to make a statement and also be in line with the rest of the world when it comes down to it. Now, let's talk about AMC's profitability hangs on the domestic box office topping 2 billion in Q4. Here's what what would need to happen and we're going to skip down through some of this and it says amc entertainment has set a new more attainable target for 2021 domestic box office in its bid for a profitable fourth quarter the movie theater chain said monday that if the box office grosses from october november and december hit 2 billion it would be able to post positive cash flow in the fourth quarter in a previous target which it predicted in august was for the full year domestic box office to reach at least 5.2 billion analysts are split on whether they think 2 billion domestic box office in the fourth quarter is attainable with some saying it is easily attainable achievable and others appearing a bit more skeptical our published estimates assume that q4 domestic box office can reach or exceed 2 billion said said alicia reese analyst at weed bush which very interesting weed bush just gave amc a seven dollar price target with these assumptions and amc's demonstrated expense management we expect amc to reach positive ebitda in q4 uh, uh yeah and ebitda is uh, expenses before income tax uh, uh depreciation and amortization i believe uh it's and then it goes on to say the two billion outlook for the fourth quarter assumes that the box office will garner around 75 percent of what it collected during the same period in 2019 around 2.9 billion according to combscar however the movie slate for the rest of the year faces tough comparisons with the films released two years prior said eric handler of mkm partners those include joker frozen 2 jumanji the next level and star wars the rise of skywalker which generated hefty returns at the box at the domestic box office with around seven weeks left before the end of the year box office a analysts are predicting the final ticket counts will come in between 4 billion and 4.7 billion now that's pretty much all you guys need to know there's some other you know films that are coming out like uh ghostbusters and gucci uh, a gucci film that's actually going into theaters right now ghostbusters afterlife house of gucci uh king richard but nothing too crazy and then spider-man right here spider-man no way home in particular exceeded expected to dominate the box office however it's december 17th release means that the 2021 box office will only benefit from ticket sales for two weeks so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out if we can uh you know basically post a profit then i do think that's going to be big for amc and where amc goes from here so that's basically going to be all for this video wanted to keep it pretty short and sweet give you guys the scoop of what is going on with paying for order flow over in europe this is a big win for potentially the u.s banning payment for order flow if this actually does happen if the eu does ban this and the fact that a lot of analysts believe that amc is going to turn a profit in the next quarter you're starting to see more analysts become more bullish kind of weird how the weed bush analyst uh says that they expect amc to turn a profit in q4 but they just gave amc a seven dollar price target probably two different people but just weird something to take note of as well so drop that like on the video consider subscribing to the channel as well as that let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about banning payment for order flow are you a fan of this do you really not care do you just want your attendees let me know what you guys think as well as that free stocks down below in the description of this video as well as a link for the buy and sell alerts if you guys want to be notified every time i make a trade in stock options and or crypto whether it's a day trade, swing trade, or long-term investment, then check that link out. We have been killing it over there. So that's going to be all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.